Welcome back to the Vessel Break, baby. This is going to be for Aries. Y'all some freaks, ain't you? Because every single time I do a freaking read, it got some shit in here. All right, what's playing is Sexy by Wizkid. All right, the other song I was channeling to is Girl, you're chosen. Wide open. It's an ocean. All right. Okay. All right, and then it's like something like somebody's like sprung on Captain Hook. Okay, All right, and then you have um, if you have a if you was a feminine, you know, what did he say? It's the ocean. I'm imposing that you give it to me. All right, somebody's actually craving you. That's what I'm getting here. All right, um. But there's a lot of commotion, like there's a lot of competition, conflict. Uh, maybe somebody feels like they're competing for you, with you, whatever this is. It's, it was given. I was getting the five of ones in my third eye. Um, but yeah, all right. So that's what I was getting for that. I also feel like there's a situation, whether it's this situation or another one we're about to see, that caught somebody off guard. All right, this person feels tangled up in a situation. Their, like, face, when you see them, they could look half infuriated and half shocked most of the time. Or whenever this comes through, whatever it is. Also, something about you could have just bought a water fountain or something about getting a small one, big one, whatever. There's, like, those little fountains you can sit on your desk and stuff, right? Um, would be really soothing and relaxing for you. All right, you're focused on the future. My AM app just came through. All right, so maybe this is somebody who's craving you from the past, right? Mm -mm 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 it's an ocean, and I'm just imposing. All right, passion at the bottom of the deck. Why am I getting this read? I feel like somebody wants to dominate you. Now you have this song, um... Yes, no, yes. <laughs> Two, 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 when I said that. Somebody wants to come into balance with you. All right. But you have yes, no, yes. So maybe you're indecisive. Maybe this person's indecisive. That's why they feel tangled up, mad, because they first they sexually frustrated, so they hot and bothered, and then they caught off. <laughs> All right. She says, I always make her day. Girl, will you be my lover? Do anything to make her smile. It's 420. This could be a smoker. You could smoke, all right? Would you be my lover? Yes, no. Yes, no. Yes. And then you have deception that came out. See? Somebody is wearing a mask here. They're wearing a false mask in this relationship. I also feel like somebody could catch somebody in bed with someone else, like literally, like this man. Look, y'all. And it's like this woman, this man is scared of this woman, first of all, because I feel like this man who's the fool card, this could be you, because I was going to say Aries. This man could be you or someone else. You'd be doing with another Aries. They could be doing with another woman or man, and they don't want you to beat the other woman up or the other man up. That's what I'm getting here. Because the way she's just, like, brushing this man's shoulder, like, maybe this 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 woman knows how this man is or whatever this is. I don't know. It's like... And then I see the angel drilling into this person's head. Somebody may get caught in bed with somebody else, literally. That's why I feel like a sexual read. That's why I got the five of ones, because this person knows you're chosen. They fuck with you. You fuck with them, whatever this is. Y'all have a relationship here, but somebody's being deceptive. Somebody's competing here. Somebody doesn't know if they should return back to your life or not. And you have it safe for you to love at the bottom of the deck. So let's see what this is. What is somebody being deceptive about? That's the real question. About a past love? 
or about not wanting love with not wanting new love with you. So someone's being deceptive about a past love and being deceptive about not wanting you to be their lover. That's what you got. Yes, no, yes, no, yes. Because this person feels like they're safe with you. All right. But there's an angel here really working hard to like, because you got the angel here and it's, it's on the woman's head. Maybe you, maybe the woman's being deceptive as well because there's masks on both of y'all. Don't get mad. It's like the, 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 the dirt parties might be the only one that ain't got a mask on. You feel me? It's like two people who feel like they have a lot of chemistry, feel safe with each other. Um, Y'all could be in a dirt party, though. There's a strong magnetic attraction here that somebody is lying about. What's this deception? Tell me more about this deception. Yeah, somebody's a flirt. They want to have they want to have a chance with you. They want to have a chance with you. About these cards. Somebody's. All right. Wait, don't rush into it. Allow nature to take its course. I feel like there's a... And it came out. Okay, so when I see this card, it reminds me of like a couple or energy that could be... Um, it doesn't have to be Dark Knight of the Soul. That's why it's like, maybe you guys are both healing, but what's this? What's behind this card? Yeah, passion. So maybe you guys are both in this energy of healing. You feel like you're in a very dark place, but when you come together, right... Look how, like, look at that card. Like, you don't feel, or maybe he was in a relationship with somebody who didn't feel. They were too numb. It was dark. It was cold. And this person brought in a lot of passion in your life. The magnetic and seductive qualities surround you at this time. Enjoy it. I feel like somebody's being deceptive when it comes to the way that they feel. Somebody could be still dealing with or did, doesn't have to be, take what resonates, leave what doesn't, with the ex that they know is like a karmic relationship, right? Because there's some type of blockage with you. I don't want to wait for nobody. I just want to dance with you, mommy. I put my hands on your body. Don't be scared. Don't you worry. All right. So this person doesn't want you to be scared. They don't want you to be worried. You have a secret admirer here. Someone has deeper feelings and they're letting on. So I feel like that's the deception too. Somebody you don't know how somebody truly feels about you. And the other deception here with forgiveness here is, yeah, there was a third party here at some point in time. All right. But forgiveness. Stop focusing your energy on past events. Your life is too precious to waste. You create your reality by what you think, dream, and imagine. And then you have embrace here through each other. You find the missing pieces. But it's in this read, I'm getting like through each other, you're finding the light. It's like very beautiful reflection. You can be doing with a twin flame, somebody who reflects you. Give each other some space at the moment. Trust and have faith that all will work out for the best. So you're definitely dealing with somebody that was meant to provoke growth and trigger you. Um, but then it's going to come up at some point in time, a decision of whether you want to continue that relationship or not. Oh, you have success in the West. So I definitely feel like that looks like a, um, I can't think of the word. But when we have the song playing, yes, no, yes, a pendulum, somebody could have a pendulum or uses that or something like that. Something could be, something is going to be very successful. I feel like you could be celebrating a lot, going out a lot, or you will be celebrating a lot. This person. Somebody's thinking about a situation that happened in the past. They feel like they're bound to this. They feel conflicted. They want to release this situation or this past um, mental conflict. Maybe there's a lot of lies in the past. They just want to release the past. Didn't you? Ain't that you? Didn't you say the same thing? I feel like y'all just want to release. 
The past affects in the future, like the beginning of the read. King of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles. This is a wealthy man, honey. Rich, rich. And it don't always have to be financially, even though I think it is. It could just be spiritually as well, right? This person is very fruitful, and they want to share this opportunity with you. They feel like you're a gem. There's a lot of anxiety, restless nights, sleepless nights. Um... I also feel like if you feel like somebody um, tried to lie on tried to lie on you, this uh, King of Pentacles is not phased. They still want an opportunity with you. Somebody sees you as husband or wife material. They're very. They want to be very loyal. All right. They want to move forward with you. They feel like you're a part of their purpose. This person could always could also be in their life purpose, like currently at this time. Maybe this person felt like they were forced to give up. Or maybe somebody gave up because somebody was in a lustful energy. But somebody's turning from this lustful energy to wanting security, stability. Somebody's freeing themselves from this sporadic, impulsive energy. That's the truth with the Knight of Swords. You could expect a, a conversation, a serious conversation. This could also be an explosive conversation. Um, could be argumentative, but I feel like the end result of that conversation. Somebody wants to talk about stability, growth, rooting and grounding. I stopped because I've seen something else here. There's also a situation where this King of Pentacles, this wealthy man, wants to offer an opportunity towards you. They want to be loyal. They want to come in very fast with, with the truth, with, with clarity. They feel like they had some type of breakthrough because, or but, right? But or because something was exposed in the past that this person was fighting up against. But they're moving forward. They're moving on now. The person was conflicted in the past. They wanted to fight, but they also had to fight against a lot of people that were trying to block this opportunity. They just didn't want them to be rooted, grounded, abundant. Um, if somebody's running over all, like, all your options as well. I feel like this is a, like, if you had any options, this person wants them to all give up because they want to be the main, Okay. I don't want to wait for nobody. They don't want to wait. They want to come forward and express how they feel. But maybe they gave up. You gave up. Ace of Wands. This person is feeling very motivated and inspired to come towards you. I also feel like their purpose is very motivational. I feel like Gemini energy. You could be doing a Gemini too. Or somebody has two sides to them. Something was also exposed about someone's lustful nature, about them moving fast or being fast. Yeah, but that's going to be put to rest. So somebody feels like they can't get love from you if they're going to be, this person could have a high ponytail like this man, like I'm getting um, lawns, like ponytail. Why don't I? I was going to say rat tail, but somebody calls it a rat tail. Someone's going to get what I'm saying, but that's not what I'm saying. It's really like this. Like that ponytail. This is somebody that wants to reconcile with you. You put something to rest. They don't feel like you're loving, nurturing them anymore. It's like they're, they're waiting to reconcile with you. They feel drained. You feel drained. Somebody feels like the situation is draining, but somebody is waiting to fill back up your cup again. Two, five. Yeah, someone's sad. They're grieving um, the five of wands. They're grieving the competition, the conflict, the chaos that they could have been involved in or caused. All right, somebody was being very manipulative, but I feel like they see that, they know that now. Yeah, seven of sword. Being very sneaky. And that's backfiring. Maybe it's the person you blocked communication with because, you know, they were lying. They were manipulating their power. 
But you have to clean it. Hmm. I feel like something is going to shift here. Because you have the new beginning for the bottom of the deck. And you have the Queen and King. Maybe somebody feels powerless at this time. Your energy is so stable. And I think this person is intimidated by you a little bit. Honestly. Um, yeah, but the love is here. There is a connection here, but you guys aren't together. Or you guys separated. You're not talking. Um, it could be a runner chaser situation, but there's a deep connection here. All right, so what's the outcome of this? Let's the artist. These are some new cards, y'all. I don't know what the artist is. It's never came out before. What is the artist? Oh, the... Vessel of creation. The card signifies mankind and shows when you need to be open to the knowledge that is available to you. If you stop and set aside the distractions of human condition and listen. So maybe on the 3D level, you guys... Why am I getting like the matrix or the three? It's like disturbing this true connection, if that makes sense. Like, maybe y'all's connection is too much in the um, the 3D. Yeah, hierarchy here, tradition. Somebody definitely wants a commitment. This is somebody who wants to be little. They see they, they want to get married. They want to invest in you. They just don't know if that shit's worth it. They don't know whether they should walk away or not. I feel like y'all are both in this cold energy towards each other, possibly, and just decided to end it. Or somebody's going to decide to end it, but... This person, this feels like a back and forth situation. Round and around and around and around we go. All right, 17. So what's the um, advice? The wheel of fortune. All right, so something's going to change anyways. Your fortune's going to change. Something's destined. Something's faded. Um, I'm in here and hold tight. Hold on. Girl, let me love you. All right, somebody's awakening to this connection. Somebody could have been in bad health. I feel like this, like I said, this connection was karmic. Somebody wasn't ready, all right? But they're trying to remain positive so they can get ready. Somebody's still healing. They're still in recovery. All right, so it's not that the connection... There is, there is, I don't know, it feels like a lot. It's not that the connection is not there. Because you have yes right here. Something is like in the beginning when we were saying yes, no, yes, no, yes. Somebody wants to say yes. Love somebody is playing right now. Um, this person's in love and it's scaring the shit out of them. Look, yes, no, yes, no, yes. <laughs> right beside each other. All right. But there is, yeah, there's a need for compromise. There's a need for compromise here. But something's destined. It's faded anyways. All right. Something's about to change anyways within this connection. All right. Maybe, let's see. Confirm this for me. Me love somebody. All right. That's, that's my uh, note for forgiveness is provided. There's a situation where somebody may forgive but they may not decide to resolve the situation. There's another situation where somebody's still, you know, energy switches, but as of right now, somebody's still in that indecisive energy. Even right now, looking at the cards, even if there was a piece of resolution, yes, no, yes, still. It's, somebody still doesn't know what they want to do. So I feel like spirit is stepping in. That's why you get the Wheel of Fortune here. Some type of change is coming, but I feel like good karma as well, right? No need to worry. Somebody live. All right, that's what I have for you. Like, comment, subscribe, share, and I'll come back for your next free. Peace.